What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Revis Talk Sports. Week 11 is finally in the books, and I am back again with my weekly NFL predictions video. For those who are new to the channel, I provide insight and prediction for every single game, every single week, as well as identifying certain upsets in the week. In this video, I'll be giving you my Week 12 predictions. So without further ado, let's hop into Thursday Night Football. Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Cleveland Browns. The Steelers had a nice upset victory over the Baltimore Ravens, and the Browns lose to the New Orleans Saints. Although the Browns got a nice divisional win over the Baltimore Ravens in Jameis Winston's first start with the Cleveland Browns, I do not see an upset here. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers money line over the Cleveland Browns. I believe that the Steelers defense will be too much for this Cleveland Browns offense. And the Steelers team have yet to lose a game with Russell Wilson at quarterback. Do not expect that to change in this game. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers money line over the Browns in this AFC North divisional matchup. Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the New York Giants. Both teams are coming off their bye. Mike Evans should be good to go to play this week. And the New York Giants have officially benched Daniel Jones for the rest of the season. And they are turning to Tommy DeVito. I know a lot of you are probably wondering what happened to Drew Locke. I thought he was QB2. The Giants do not want to win any more games, which is why they're going from QB1 to QB3, and I do not blame them. Do not try to get any moral victories to end the season and get yourself out of position in the draft to miss out on a quarterback that you want. Lose out the rest of the season, get your top two, top three pick in the draft, and just lose out. Give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers money line. No faith in this Giants team as their season is pretty much officially over. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Carolina Panthers. The Chiefs finally got their first loss of the season against the Buffalo Bills, and the Panthers are coming off their bye. Give me the Chiefs money line. I do not expect the Chiefs to lose to one of the worst teams in the NFL, and I don't see any huge upset of the Panthers being the Chiefs. Give me the Chiefs money line. Do not have much input in this game as I do not see any upsets here. Detroit Lions versus the Indianapolis Colts. The Lions obliterated the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Colts got a nice one point victory over the New York Jets. Give me the Lions money line over the Indianapolis Colts. The Lions have been feasting on AFC South teams. They embarrassed the Tennessee Titans. They embarrassed the Jacksonville Jaguars. And they had a nice come from behind victory over the Houston Texans. The Lions are 3 0 in the AFC South. I expect a nice AFC South sweep in this game. Do not see the Colts even standing a chance against the Lions, especially since the Colts have one of the worst defenses in the NFL. Give me the Detroit Lions money line, and I do expect the Lions to shred this Colts team. New England Patriots versus the Miami Dolphins. The Patriots lose to the LA Rams, and the Dolphins had a nice victory over the Las Vegas Raiders. Give me the Miami Dolphins money line. This Dolphins team is going to be on a nice winning streak, especially now that Tua is back and is giving this team some life. They can make the, the wild card spot in the AFC. The Dolphins still have a chance to not only end the season in second place in the division, but at least squeak into a playoff spot. This Dolphins team knows what's at stake from here on out. I do expect this Dolphins team to just go all in for the season. Give me the Dolphins money line over the Patriots, and I do expect the Dolphins to make a nice push to end the season. Minnesota Vikings versus Chicago Bears. The Vikings had a nice victory over the Tennessee Titans and the Bears lose in a heartbreaking fashion to the Green Bay Packers from a blocked field goal. Anything can happen in divisional games. We saw the Browns beat the Ravens. We saw the Saints beat the Falcons. If there could be a potential divisional upset game, it could be right here. I can see the Vikings getting a bit pass happy against this Bears team, which is pretty much top 10 defense in the NFL. And I can see Sam Darnold having two to three picks and giving the Bears great position to score points. But give me the Minnesota Vikings money line. Do not have faith in this Bears team. And to beat the Vikings, you have to air it out and at least get some passing touchdowns. The Bears have yet to get a passing touchdown since playing the Jaguars in London. Do not have any faith in this Bears passing offense to beat the Vikings. Give me the Vikings to beat the Chicago Bears. Tennessee Titans versus the Houston Texans. The Titans lose to the Minnesota Vikings, and the Texans are coming off their Monday night game against the Dallas Cowboys. Give me the Houston Texans money line over the Tennessee Titans. I do not see an upset here. Even though that the Texans have played in very close divisional games, I do not expect the Titans to beat the Texans. And even if the Texans put in their second stringers, I do not have faith in this Titans team to beat the Texans. So give me the Texans money line over the Tennessee Titans. Dallas Cowboys versus the Washington Commanders. The Dallas Cowboys are coming off their Monday night game against the Houston Texans, and the Commanders lose to the Philadelphia Eagles. Give me the Washington Commanders to defeat the Dallas Cowboys. I don't have faith in this Cowboys team. 
This commander's team is on a losing streak, and I expect them to play very gritty for the remainder of the season as they can potentially win the NFC East. But give me the commander's money line to defeat the Dallas Cowboys between these two teams. It's a pretty much a mismatch, especially in the direction that these franchises are going this year. So give me the commander's money line over the Dallas Cowboys. Denver Broncos versus the Las Vegas Raiders. The Broncos had a nice victory over the Atlanta Falcons, and the Raiders lose to the Miami Dolphins. Give me the Denver Broncos money line over the Raiders. I do not see a divisional upset here. I do expect the Broncos defense to put the Raiders offense in a halt, and I like the fact that Bo Nix has been cooking lately. He had two passing touchdowns against the Chiefs, had four against the Falcons. Bo Nix has been looking really well the past few weeks, and I expect him to have a nice field day against the Raiders defense give me the Broncos money line over the Raiders 49ers versus the Green Bay Packers the 49ers lose to the Seattle Seahawks and the Packers just squeaked out a W against Chicago Bears on a blocked field goal this is going to be a very close matchup I think this game will come down to the wire for the 49ers side it is up in the air if Bosa will play this game it is expected that he might miss some time. So that's another thing that could be a huge factor for this 49ers team. And the Green Bay Packers, they have been squeaking out Ws. In the last four games, three of them have come down to game-winning field goal situations in which two have gone their way, and three of them came to a blocked field goal. So I guess three game-winning field goal situations have gone to the Green Bay Packers' way. The Packers have been getting very lucky, lucky lately. This is going to be a very close game. Give me the upset, 49ers over the Green Bay Packers. The Packers, like I said, have been getting very lucky the past four games that have gone down to the wire. And for the 49ers, the reason why I'm giving him this, giving them the slight edge at Lambeau Field is, one, the motivational factor. They are last in their division, and they're not even in the playoff picture right now. And I'm sure that probably pisses the 49ers team off right now. So motivational factor. Jordan Love has been playing very reckless. He has an interception in every single game, which has put in teams in the position to beat the Packers. And three, the lack of pass rush for this Green Bay Packers team. The fact that they're unable to provide consistent pass rush to the quarterback. I think Brock Purdy can find some holes in this Packers defense as he may not break a sweat with the lack of pass rush. So motivational factor, Jordan Love's recklessness and lack of pass rush for this Packers defense. I think the 49ers can win this game in a potential game-winning field goal situation. Upset 49ers at Lambeau Field. Arizona Cardinals versus the Seattle Seahawks. The Cardinals are coming off their bye, and the Seattle Seahawks had a nice divisional victory over the 49ers. This would be a nice divisional matchup. Give me the Arizona Cardinals over the Seattle Seahawks. Not only are the Cardinals coming off a bye, they're nice and fresh. They're number one in the division, and they've been very hot recently. Give me the Cardinals over the Seahawks. Not buying the Seahawks just yet. I like how hot the Cardinals have looked, and I really... I really am buying to this team right now. Give me the Cardinals money line over the Seattle Seahawks. Philadelphia Eagles versus the LA Rams. The Eagles defeated the Commanders and the Rams defeated the New England Patriots. Something about this game feels a bit off. This seems like, you know, Sunday Night Football. This feels like a classic Nick Sirianni gets a bit arrogant and calls something stupid that can give the Rams some leeway to win this game. Give me the Eagles money line. I think the Eagles team is just a bit too talented for this Rams team to handle. The Rams would have to play perfectly offensively and defensively to beat the Eagles team. But like I said, they, this could be a situation where Nick Sirianni can just call some stupid plays and does not look right for this Eagles team on prime time and give Sean McVay some, some leeway to cook a little bit. But I just don't see it here. I like the Eagles to win this game at loss at Los Angeles. So give me the Eagles money line over the Rams. And last but not least, the Baltimore Ravens versus the LA Chargers. The Ravens lose to the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Chargers defeated the Cincinnati Bengals. The Chargers have been looking really well this season. Their defense has really improved this season. They're number one in the NFL and points per game allowed. And I think that could be a huge factor in stopping this Baltimore Ravens team. Doesn't matter. Give me the Baltimore Ravens money line over the LA Chargers. The last time I doubted this Ravens team against a very stout defense, which was against the Denver Broncos, the Ravens obliterated the Denver Broncos. And yes, even though this Chargers defense has looked really well this whole entire season, look at who they played this season. If you look at their schedule, they have yet to play an offense, offense as explosive as the Baltimore Ravens. They haven't played a team that's had an MVP candidate 
in the quarterback position and a potential offensive player of the year in Derrick Henry. I think this Baltimore Ravens offense might be a bit too much for this Chargers defense as this might be the best team that the Chargers team has faced this year. Give me the Baltimore Ravens and little brother Harbaugh to win this game over the LA Chargers. So give me the Ravens money line. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your week 12 NFL picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.